नमस्ते टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू बी टॉकिंग अबाउट लिपिड प्रोफाइल और कोलेस्ट्रॉल लेवल्स इन द बॉडी दीज डेज अ लॉर्ड ऑफ कार्डियोवैस्कुलर इवेंट्स हैव बीन एट्रीब्यूटेड टू द इंक्रीज लेवल्स ऑफ कोलेस्ट्रॉल एंड इन दिस वीडियो वील बी सी वॉट आर द परमिसेबल लेवल्स हाउ मच शुड बी नॉर्मल एंड वॉट इज अब नॉर्मल lipids are normally synthesized by the liver and they play a very important part in maintaining body function number 1 being they are the source of energy a lot of energy do come from this lipids the stored fat number 2 they have been implicated uh, in the synthesis of a lot of hormones in the body for example the estrogen progesterone other sex hormones have been um, they all require uh, this uh, lipids to be there for their production vitamin d synthesis also need this lipids uh, so and they are an important integral part of the cells as well so in spite of that why do we call it bad so that is what we are going to be seeing in this video today in malayalam we have a saying amritam kudiyal vesham anything in excess even if it is good is extremely bad same way if uh, there is excess cholesterol levels in the blood it can lead to uh, atherosclerotic changes so atherosclerosis means Uh, the blood vessels if you consider them as a pipe there are plaques or you know some deposits that occur um inside the lumen of this pipe leading to uh, constriction of blood flow which can further lead to heart attacks strokes peripheral vascular diseases and so on the amount of cholesterol in blood can be assessed by a test called lipid profile uh, after an overnight fasting of around 12 hours blood is drawn and it is processed for this test so once the results are out you get what is called total cholesterol uh, ldl cholesterol or low density lipoprotein cholesterol high density lipoprotein cholesterol or hdl cholesterol VLDL cholesterol or very low density lipoprotein cholesterol and there are certain other markers novel parameters called apo a apo b lipoprotein a and so on what are the normal values in total cholesterol it has to be kept less than 200 ldl cholesterol has to be kept less than 100 and in certain diseases if at all somebody is already having some uh, cardiovascular events or risk factors we keep it less than 70 triglycerides usually is kept less than 150 anything more than 150 we call it elevated triglycerides are usually made of three fatty acids and a and one glycerol molecule and uh, whatever oily fatty food that we eat are getting converted into triglycerides and that triglycerides is a major marker for cardiovascular events pancreatitis and many other diseases hdl cholesterol or the high density lipoprotein cholesterol are considered as a good cholesterol because they kind of remove the plaques from the blood stream into the liver so uh, these hdl cholesterol has to be maintained above 60 in your blood and uh, exercise is the only way to increase hdl cholesterol in the blood when we talk about the novel markers apo b is closely related to ldl cholesterol so any increase in apo b is a risk for uh, cardiovascular events and apo a are uh, related to hdl so they have a preventive role hence the uh, ratio between apo b and apo a is a cardiac marker as well there are uh, labs which uh, 
uh, measure what is called uh, lipoprotein A. This lipoprotein A is also emerging as one of the biomarkers for cardiovascular events. So even if total cholesterols are normal, if the lipoprotein A is elevated, it means that you are at higher risk of developing these events in life. Now, uh, why do we talk about it so much? Uh, it is because generally there are modifiable and non-modifiable risk factors for any of these events. When we talk about non-modifiable risk factors, our age, our gender, males, Indians, they are all at higher risk of developing cardiovascular diseases. Uh, if you have a genetic history, a family history of, uh, uh, you know, cardiovascular events running in the family in the form of heart attacks or strokes, you are at higher risk. So these are factors which we have no control over. So they are called non-modifiable risk factors. But there are modifiable risk factors as well. Uh, keeping your sugars well controlled, your blood pressure normal, cholesterol levels normal, having a, a good uh, lifestyle by following regular exercise, uh, good eating habits and uh, quitting smoking. All these things will act as modifiable risk factor thereby preventing the risk of uh, these diseases. Now talking about how to keep the cholesterols in check. As I always say, I reiterate diet and exercise is the most important thing. Reduced fatty food will definitely help us to get down the cholesterol levels. So if we see uh, in a typical diet, it is around 25 to 30 percent of the calories is coming from your fat. So try to minimize that and out of which less than 7 percent should be from saturated fat. So saturated fats would be your red meat, but, uh, butter and so on. Choose your oil wisely. You know, oils have to be rich in uh, monounsaturated fatty acids and polyunsaturated fatty acids. And the ratio of omega-3 on omega-6 has to be good because omega-3 has a lot of anti-inflammatory effects and omega-6 has some uh, pro-inflammatory uh, effects as in they can cause inflammation. So to prevent that omega-3 upon omega-6 has to be good and this ratio has been found to be okay in olive oil uh, especially the uh, extra virgin olive oil. But in Indian cooking we usually use uh, uh, many other oils. So uh, to keep the ratio balanced, one small tip is you can use blended oil. If you're not able to use olive oil in your cooking, these blended oils definitely do help. And even if you are not able to use blended oils, you may keep changing the oil in your diet. Probably uh, use uh, coconut oil, cold pressed uh, groundnut oil, um, sunflower oil, rice bran oil, canola oil, keep changing them. Even in sunflower oil, you have uh, uh, good uh, polyunsaturated fatty acids. Uh, you're talking about coconut oil, uh, a lot of uh, antioxidant properties along with uh, anti-inflammatory activities have been associated with it. Cold pressing process of the oil, again, uh, retains the good properties. Trans fats is considered as the worst fat that you can eat. Usually oil is hydrogenated uh, so that the liquid oil is converted into solid thereby uh, it doesn't get spoiled very uh, easily. The rancidity doesn't set in. So most of the uh, processed food use a lot of this hydrogenated vegetables, oils or vanaspati and so on so that their shelf life is high. So try to avoid any of these uh, junk food or bakery products containing trans fats because it in turn increases your LDL cholesterol thereby increases the risk of heart diseases. And as you know each gram of fat is going to give you around 9 calories. 
so this way when you restrict the oil it is not only uh, oil restriction but also calorie restriction that is going on here so let us recognize the modifiable risk factors which cause atherosclerotic diseases like uh, strokes and uh, heart attacks and keep them under control so uh, that is by uh, regular physical activity healthy diet keeping uh, sugars in check your blood pressure lipid profile uh, normal maintaining an ideal body weight by doing regular physical activity and eating healthy so take care bye